In this video we'll show making a conic with a circular bottom and a circular top. We'll start out with a standard uh, conic design from M panel. We'll find it useful um, to have a center point uh, available from the from the bottom and we'll create a center point by drawing in a diagonal line like so across the base and the center of that line will provide a center point to uh, to get the basic circular shape and we're going to need a circular shape for each mesh um, we'll draw in arcs and we'll draw in the arc as start, sorry, center, start, end. So we'll pick up the center, the start of an arc, and the end. And we'll do that four times to uh, to achieve the. In fact, let me just do it another time. Center, start, and end. And I guess I might as well just keep going till we have all four in place and obviously there are there are quicker ways of doing this in in AutoCAD but I'm just keeping to the basics here um, we're going to turn these into uh, 3D polys so we don't need this polyline as the base polyline so we can delete that just to clean up the drawing and also we can delete our construction line um, I'm deleting it's always better practice to put these on a on another layer and then call and then hide the layer to where those construction lines and so on are available uh, but but I'm just doing this in in a, in a simple way each of these meshes has got 13 points on its bottom edge like one two, three, four, five, and it'll be 13. And that's because when we built the model, we built it with a uh, M-surf, M-surf of 13. It's actually the M-surf which is controlling the, the number of nodes on the bottom. And so to fix those nodes, we need to convert these arcs into uh, 3D polys, each with 13 nodes. Convert to 3D polys, Put the number of nodes to 13. Run the uh, convert to 3D poly tool and delete the old objects. And now each of these is uh, a, th a 3D poly. As we can see, if I select one of them, and you can see the 13 nodes, we'll stitch the mesh edges. You know, we could take these mesh nodes and stitch them by hand to the nodes uh, along this edge here and that, that works just fine, it's just a little bit tedious. So we're going to use uh, the Fix Mesh Edges tool but we need to make sure we select the right option on this. This can either fix mesh edges into a straight line between poly nodes or it can snap the mesh edges to an existing poly, and that's the one that we want, or it can move it from, from one poly to another poly. But it's this option, snap mesh edges to an existing poly that we want. So at that point we can select a mesh and its 3D poly, run the fix edge mesh edges tool, and you can see that the mesh edges have been pulled out to that, that uh, to the polyline with the old one, old mesh left in there that we'll delete. Similarly we can do um, each of the other pairs, you can probably do these all at one time but uh, just keeping stuff simple we'll do this as the four like that and of course delete one, two, three of the old meshes. This structure then can be relaxed as a joined edge mesh
to, to, to produce this shape and that shape just orbiting it around in 3D we can see to be a low rise circular conic circular at the top and the bottom.